it, bro. The Phoenix Suns took that game. Before we get into this video, everybody go ahead and hit, hit that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video. Welcome to Sports R Us. And the Phoenix Suns just went up 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals in a game against the Clippers. Now this game number four was, this game was one of the most low scoring games I've ever seen this season. It was 84 to 80 in today's NBA. That's very low as it pertains to points. Um, when it came down to the Phoenix side, we had DeAndre Aiden with 19 points, 22 boards. So he handled his business on the boards. Uh, we had Devin Booker with 25, Chris Paul with 18, 4, and 7. Very low scoring game, which means you'll get lower stats. So you didn't really see too much as it pertains to scoring. You know, the highest person in the game uh, for this game was Devin Booker, who wound up fouling out in this game, which was very shocking. You know, you fouled out in this game. Um, that's something that he has to work on, not getting any type of just crazy fouls throughout the game, especially him being the main focal point with his team. You know, even though CP3 is the leader, you would say that Devin Booker is the main person who they're going to, through for offense. So he needs to keep himself in the game. He needs to not pick up those big time fouls, especially if they go into the finals, which I'm pretty much saying it now that the Phoenix Suns will be going into the finals. I'll be shocked if the Los Angeles Clippers come back. Uh, we had another game where Paul George missed free throws. Uh, late in the game and I don't want to blame anything on Paul George whatsoever you know you have to hit your free throws uh, but it was 23 he had 23 points he had 16 rebounds six assists one steal and he was 5 of 20 from the floor so 25 percent field goal percentage that wasn't that good this game but a lot of people was missing shots you know uh, Reggie Jackson was 8 of 24 33 but Paul George being the main focal point on that team, he should not have that low of a field goal percentage in the Western Conference Finals if they're looking to making it to the next round. He did play 41 minutes, so he, he, he he's giving it his all. And maybe what we're learning is that Paul George all won't get you to a championship, but it can get you to you know the Conference Finals and, 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 and depending on the year. It can get you to certain levels within the playoffs but it won't get you to the actual championship or further than that winning a championship but the phoenix suns won this game it wasn't the most eventful game at the end they kept on following one another have had to keep on going to the line things like that uh demarcus cousins does not understand what he needs to do in order to miss a field goal i mean a, a free throw he doesn't know that you have to hit the rim uh, that's something that should have been explained to him prior to and him being a basketball player you should have known that and trust me I'm a huge fan of DeMarcus Cousins but the fact that he just threw it straight at the backboard as if this was and one that was shocking to see so they lost this game 84 to 80 the Phoenix Suns will be going back home on Monday I expect them to close this game out on Monday in Phoenix uh, I don't I don't expect the Clippers to win another game in this series and uh, I expect the Phoenix Suns to be going to the finals. So everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video. And also put some comments down below letting me know what you felt about this game. And um, where do you see this series heading? Do you think this is going to end in Phoenix or do you see it coming back to LA? Let me know down below. This has been Sports R Us. I appreciate y'all.